You know, I got a new neighbor who moved in today, so I'm uh, out there checking him out and seeing, well, not, I mean, you know, not like, you know, not checking him out, but seeing what, what, uh, what he's up to and who he is and all about him and all that kind of stuff. And so we, uh, we have the, you know, how do you do's and what do you do's and he uh, asked me, well, you know, what I do. And I told him that I, I worked uh, after hours and extracurricular with uh, the little fellas. He said, oh, I think I understand you're in the midget porn. I said, no, what? He said, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, I, it, it, it's, it's what I do. I, I'm always thinking and analyzing. Now I work at the, I work after hours at the, at the school, at the elementary school, uh, an after hours youth program, uh, teaching uh, third through sixth grade boys the basic fundamentals of football and baseball and all that, but um, geez. You know, so what is it you do that you know causes you to, to jump to such awful conclusions? And he said, I, "I'm sorry, I'm, I'm under a lot of stress. You got deadlines, you know, for a thesis. I, I'm a professor of logic over at uh, Millsaps." I said, "Whoa!" So you know, for some reason, I felt like acting coy at this point. So I said, "Well, what exactly? Uh, uh, pray tell is logic. I've never never heard of that. Professor of logic, that is." He said, "Well." Um, we, we put together, uh, you know, uh, like a series of inferences and, um, you know, through deductive reasoning, try to come up with a, a conclusion, try to come up with a, an analysis based on the data and the facts and all that. And I said, oh, well, um, hmm, well you, you lost me at inferences. So um, uh, what do you have a, a, an example? He said, well, let me give you an example. Let's say, let's say I approach a fella, <clears throat> I approach a fella and I say, Hey, do you have a doghouse? He says, well, yeah. And I said, well, then you probably have a dog. Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. And since you have uh, a doghouse and a dog, then you probably have a fenced-in backyard. Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah, I do. And since you have a dog and a doghouse and a fenced-in backyard, you're probably heterosexual and you have uh, a family, a wife and kids. Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I do. You're exactly right. So that's how, uh, you know, that's how uh, it works. That's how logic works. And I said, well, that's interesting. You know, welcome to the neighborhood and let's get together and, um, you know, discuss um, what we do uh, again some other time when you get moved in and all that kind of stuff. So we go on about our ways. So my, my uh, car is is in the shop, so I've been having to walk up to the corner and take the bus, so I walked up there and I'm waiting to the bus, and there's a few people meandering around, and I ask, you know, had I missed the bus? Because I'm always running late, those who know me, I'm always running late. This guy says, uh, no, I hadn't been there, hadn't been one in a while, but watch this. As soon as I light up a cigarette, a bus will come. So he, he lit up a cigarette, and he smoked it all the way down to the nub, and lit another one off of it, smoked it on down to the nub, and I said, but the bus never showed up. I said, well, that's uh, so much about your your cigarette bus theory. Um, but the interesting, I, I kind of had something uh, similar to that. A new neighbor moved in, and um, he's a, a professor of logic. And this, the guy, the cigarette man, he said, well, what is what exactly is that? I said, well, it's um, you know, it's a, he put together a series of uh, inferences and. And uh, through deductive reasoning, you come up with. Um, well, you'd probably rather me just give you an example, right? He goes, well, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be that would be great." And um, the bus ought to be here any minute. So I said, "Well, let me ask you. Um, do you happen to have a doghouse?" He said, "No, I don't." I said, "Oh, well, then you must be gay." <laughs> 